Hey guys, what's up? Evan from Stock Music Musician, and today I have a video on my 10 favorite reason shortcuts. It's actually a little more than 10 because some of these shortcuts and hotkeys do more than just one thing. So stay till the end so you'll be sure to get all of these down. It'll speed up your workflow, save you a lot of time, and have you zooming around Reason like a master. So the first series of shortcuts I'm going to talk about are all about the F keys, or in other words, getting F'd up. What this allows you to do by holding down the function, for example, F5 will bring up the mixer. F6 brings up the rack. F7 brings up the sequencer. And F8 brings up the handy tool window, um, which opened in a different window for me. Um, and then, so that's a really easy way of navigating between the various windows. Now, if we hold down F7, we'll go back to the sequencer. And now I want to talk about the QWERTY keys. After we've gotten F'd up, it's time to get QWERTY with it. So these icons here represent the main functions you're going to be doing. When you edit audio. The cube is this mouse pointer. W selects the pencil. E is the eraser. R is the razor. T is mute. Y is zoom. And U is the hand. So I guess it's maybe more like QWERTY U. Uh, those are really helpful. I use them all the time when I'm editing media or audio. Before we go any farther, one thing I'd really like to suggest if you really want to learn the hotkeys is getting an overlay like this. Mine here is for a MacBook for uh, Logic. When I was learning Logic, I found it really helpful. You basically, it's like 15 bucks or something. I'll put a link down below so you can get a copy on Amazon if you're interested. Um, it works really well. It sits easily on your keyboard. I wouldn't recommend it for typing like a uh, term paper, but it pulls on and off really easy to use. It's color coded. It's got all the hotkeys on it so you can quickly figure it out. And then as you get better with your hotkeys, you can just take it off and start doing things off the top of your head. Okay, the next series of hotkeys I want to do has to do more with editing. So the first one is the... It's going to work in the rack window, which I'll show you in a second. So let's first hold down, press Q to select the pointer. Now I'm going to hold down Alt and drag a copy, and it basic or drag a section, and it creates a copy. When you see that plus button, that's what that means. It also works with audio. Really simple. Now if we go to the mixer, let's say I've got this instrument here. I can hold down Alt and create a copy of it, and then I can like change it, and it would have the same MIDI data. You'll see here um, these two. Same MIDI data, but you can change the differences. So there, that's a free one there. I just hit delete to delete it. Um, the next one, alt, alt copies a lot of things. The next one is shift, which does a lot of different things in Reason as well. But actually, there's one other thing I need to tell you about alt. You can hold down alt and drag, and it time stretches. You see that little clock that shows up? And time stretch works on both MIDI and on audio. Okay, the next one is shift, which um, can be useful on the mixer here when we are on the racks. Sorry. So if you are, let's say you've got two effects here. Let's just create two effects real quick. So by default, Reason wires them in the order that you assemble them. You see all this wiring here. I hit tab to switch, by the way. That one we're getting to in a second. Um, but I just gave that one away. So if you hold down shift and reset the order, now the effects automatically rewire, automatically switch their ordering back. 
instead of having to unhook everything and rehook everything. And let's say you want to create an effect that isn't connected to anything. Well, we'll select this. And if you hold down shift when you click on it, you'll see no connections at all. So shift is super helpful on the rack. The next one I want to talk about is tab, but I've already really talked about that. So let's move on. What do we have next? Why it's the magical alt plus the mouse wheel. Does it do anything here? No. Um, but if we go to the mixer, my mouse wheel, I mean, this little guy here, obviously, uh, no, it'll, normally, let's, uh, let's zoom way in. So normally the mouse wheel goes up and down like this. If I hold down Alt while I do that, I'm in Command. Command or Control, depending on um, what OS you're using, it zooms in vertically. Gotta love spam. If you hold down Command, using the mouse wheel, it zooms in and out vertically. If you use hold down shift while doing the mouse wheel, it scrolls left to right, right to left. The next key I want to talk about is C. Now, if you were to talk to Cookie Monster, he would tell you that C was for Cookie, and that it was good enough for him, but it's not good enough for me. C turns on the click, and the click can be really useful when you're recording. And it's something that will also get really annoying when you're recording. So it's great to have it right at your fingertips to be able to turn it on and off. Similarly, L turns on looping, which sometimes you want on and sometimes you don't. Next, we're gonna do Command Control S. This is probably the most important key out there. And by command or control, I mean if you're on a Mac, it's command. If you're on a PC, it's control. I want to show you is command slash control I, which lets you quickly create an instrument track like this. Boop. I just showed you another free command there, which is command Z or control Z, which is undo. Super helpful. Lastly, you have command slash control enter, which is basically record. Super helpful, especially if you've got like an instrument in your hand. Hit it, boom, you're ready to go. So I really hope you found this useful. These are the hotkeys I use the most. I figure this is easier than going through the manual through a bunch of hotkeys that you might never use. Also really, really recommend getting an overlay. It will speed up how quickly you learn this stuff. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you've got any favorite hotkeys, let me know at the end. Thanks.